Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hoppets. With the merch. <laughs> I gotta flash that. It's so cool to wear a cap with your fucking YouTube channel's name. But uh, today guys, we're carrying on with more beer reviews as always with another beer that was sent to me from Beer Drum, the great Belgian web shop that you guys should check out because they have crazy big ass barrel aged beers like this one. So this one, guys, is another brewery beer, and you guys know how I love the brewery and their big barrel-aged barley wines, imperial stouts, and whatnot. So this is a newer beer for them that, from them that I haven't had the chance to try, the, try yet, and this is the 2016 release of the brewery Colonel Colonel Barley Wine Style Ale brewed with corn aged in bourbon barrels on 14.8% alcohol, uh, called a Beast of Bourbon. Uh, it says here on the back that uh, they did a bourbon barrel ale, style, bourbon barrel aged style barley wine, or bar barley wine style ale that's bourbon barrel aged with corn, and that you should think of it as sticky caramel corn served with, uh, served, served out of a toasty bourbon barrel, but without the kernels sticking to your teeth. So it's kind of a cool little random description there. Uh, really looking forward to try this. Like the brewery and big ABV beer, they just go hand in hand, especially when it's barrel aged. So, hoping this is going to be as good as the last barrel aged beer I shared with friends, friends, which was uh, the uh, Poterie Bourbon and Scotch Witch Ski, which was amazing. So, hopefully, this will be as good. So, poured in the glass, a very nice, hazy, deep mahogany reddish color. There's some Slightly uh, uh, kind of orangey colors in the bottom of the glass. Very nice head retention for an almost 15% beer. I mean, the head is still there. It's like a nice beige, off-white, eggshell, white almost colored head. Looks nice in the glass. So without further ado, let's check out the aroma on the brewery. Colonel Colonel. Barley wine with corn aging broom barrels. Oh, that is huge. That's like, um, that's kind of like, a, it's instantly I'm thinking bourbon barrel aged uh, old ale by the brewery. Just lighter. Bourbon is so intense on it though. I don't know how they got that, get that much flavor out of the barrels, but like it's just, like the brewery, their barrel aged beers are just so saturated with barrel, both aroma and flavor. So much bourbon, so much almonds. Uh, marzipan, vanilla, hint of alcohol, hint of booze, brown sugar, the corn aspect, you can't really smell it in my mind because of all the like sweet caramel toffee tones. It's basically just like using corn as a way of getting starches to make alcohol, kind of like a, like what macro breweries do. Um, not to compare the brewery to any macro brewery because they're like 10 times, a million times better, but I'm not really specifically smelling the adjunct corn, but caramel and toffee. It smells like barley wine in the English style, like fudgy caramel toffee, fruit cakey. Just smells smooth. It smells oddly enough. It smells a bit more like alcohol compared to like the old ales uh, in their anniversary series. Even though they're higher in ABV, which is a bit odd, but still smells freaking killer. Can't wait to try this, guys. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, and thanks a ton to Beer Gym for the beer. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a lot of bourbon. Holy crap. This is almost like drinking straight, like, uh, bourbon or, like, rye whiskey or something like that. Wow. There's a lot of bourbon. Okay, the first thing I noticed on this one compared to some of their anniversary ales. It's not, not as, uh, I, I know I shouldn't compare them, but again, old ales when they're that high in ABV, I guess they're somewhat similar to barley wines. It's not as sludgy as, and thick. It's not a, as rich, but the flavor of bourbon is, it's like kind of a lighter mouthfeel wise version of something like the anniversary ales. But like the flavor that persists, is just so bourbon saturated and heavy, it's intense. Mmm. Good amount of heat too. Tons of the bourbon. Again, like rye whiskey-esque almost character to it. Uh, vanilla, almonds, toffee, 
charred oak, lots of charred oak actually. Tons of that. I definitely taste the alcohol in this. I'd say it's harmonized with the rest of the beer, but the mouthfeel is like light aside of medium, kind of thin. But this, like the flavor explosion that you get from the brewery is still there, but like the, the thicker mouthfeel isn't, I mean, it's not as big as some of their other beers. Still an awesome barrel character though. Uh, lots of caramel, lots of toffee, fudge. Not all the way in dark fruit though, but like toffee, caramel, fudge. There's a bit of chard, the chard oakiness, uh, almost like a uh, creme brulee-esque flavor because you're getting like toffee, caramelly flavors with vanilla, almost like you get the kind of like burnt sugar flavor too because it's definitely got some sugary notes too. It's not as high as the old days. It's a 95. It's still a fucking world-class party wine. It's, it's a bit thin, but that barrel character that they get out of these huge ABV beers still make him somewhat drinkable considering their ABV and the intensity of barrel flavor is just insane and yeah I, I don't know how they do it I just I love the brewery for that really really damn awesome but it's 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 not like like when you see barrel aged beer from the brewery at least for me I often think upper echelon instantly it's not as upper echelon as some of the other stuff they do but it's still fucking awesome stuff I really enjoy it Guys, if you've had a chance to try the breweries, Colonel, Colonel, definitely let me know what you think of it. I think it's a great barley wine, kind of in the English style, but I guess almost with an American twist because it's got corn and it's bourbon barrel aged. I don't know, <laughs> but it's damn awesome stuff. Again, not on par with the old ales, but still great. So check it out if you can. If you can't get it, you can get it on Beer Gym. I still think they have like anniversary ales on there, except the bourbon version of Pusseli which I don't get, they didn't sell out the scotch, nah, whatever. I'm rambling now, I'm gonna stop rambling guys, but let me know what you think of this bad boy, if you've had a chance to try it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give us a thumbs up, and I wanna say cheers and some delicious 14.8% bourbon barrel aged imperial barley wine with corn. And see you guys in another beer review.